Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hear these words from sacred scripture. The Son of Man is destined to suffer grievously, so to be rejected, and to be raised up on the third day. If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross every day and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake, that man will save it. Lord Jesus, help us to be open to your closeness and presence as we begin this journey to Calvary with you. Help us to find in your passion and death the strength to take up our crosses and follow after thee. condemns Jesus to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Lord Jesus, often I judge others and fail to be understanding or loving. Help me to see the people in my life through your eyes, not the eyes of the judge, not the eyes of Pontius Pilate. Lord, make me deeply aware of the people in my life where I need to be forgiven, both to ask their forgiveness and to forgive them. Help me, Lord, to look upon the world with your eyes of mercy, your eyes of love. Help me to be an agent of reconciliation in my world, in my family, in my community. O oh God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee, and I grieve that I have so often offended thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Amen. At the cross her station keeping, 
stood the mournful mother weeping, where he hung the dying Lord. Jesus accepts his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Lord Jesus, you embraced your cross to redeem the world. Help me to embrace the crosses in my life, the hardships, the struggles, disappointments, and pain. Only by recognizing my own weakness can I discover your strength. Lord Jesus, help us in our own life's journey. Be deeply aware of our shortcomings, where we need your grace to amend our lives. We may follow your example by not shying away from the difficult things in our life, but seek ways of bringing your healing presence to bear. O God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee. And I grieve that I have so often offended thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. For her soul of joy bereaved, bowed with anguish deeply grieved, felt the sharp and piercing sword. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Lord Jesus, you are now weary from the beatings you have received, your back ripped by the whippings, your head bleeding from the crown of thorns. Lord Jesus, you know how often I fail trying to follow you, yet you are always there to lift me up, Help me always to trust in your loving care for me. And Lord, help me to be a hand that eases the cross of another, to walk with someone as they struggle with their life, to be a friend to those who are alone, be a person who brings hope to those who are in despair. Help me to bring courage to those who are afraid. O God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee, and I grieve that I have so often offended thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Oh, how sad and sore distressed, how was she, the mother blessed, of the soul begotten one. Jesus meets his holy mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. One can only imagine, perhaps not even imagine, the horror and the sorrow as the sword prophesied by Simeon at the presentation in the temple now pierces her heart as she sees her only son now bearing the weight of the cross 
bruised and bloodied, covered in the dust, hearing the cheers of the crowd in her ears as her only son goes towards his certain death. Lord Jesus, your mother's Mary's grief was surpassed by her love for you. So often you come to me and others, and their love gives me new life. Help me to see how often you love me through the people in my life. O God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee, and I grieve that I have so often offended thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed be the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Keep the woe of her affliction when she saw the crucifixion of her ever-glorious Son. Simon helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. What an interesting figure Simon is in all this story. A man from the country, drawn by the crowds and the commotion, draws near, and he's pressed into the service to carry the cross, which is weighing so heavily upon the bruised and bloody shoulder of Jesus. How often in our life we are forced into situations out of our own choosing or making. How often we are forced to help others when sometimes we are afraid. Let us look to Simon as a guide, as an example, that in order to help Jesus sometimes we must do which makes us uncomfortable, which makes us afraid, but we trust in God's mercy and God's grace to enable us to carry out the work set before us then indeed we may be like Christ in the midst of our troubled world. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, as by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Excuse me. O God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee, and I grieve that I have so often offended thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. It was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Who on Christ, dear Mother, gazing, pierced by anguish so amazing, born of woman, would not be. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Jesus, now covered with the dirt from the road, combined with the blood and bloody sweat, a woman steps out of the crowd, unafraid by what those around her might think or do, unafraid of the soldiers that might strike her down. She wipes the face of Jesus with her veil. Lord, give us courage to reach out to those around us who are in need. 
not to be afraid to share our faith, not to be afraid to share of our substance, not to be afraid to share of our time. Lord Jesus, all the times I'm afraid to reach out to others, I do nothing when I should act. I say nothing when I should speak out. Give me a deeper and more courageous faith. Help me to trust that you are with me always. O God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee, and I grieve that I have so often offended thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Who on Christ, dear Mother, thinking such a cup of sorrow drinking, would not share her soul. Jesus falls for the second time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Increasingly wearied by the weight of the cross, despite the help of Simon, Jesus stumbles for the second time. Perhaps we can hear the shouts of the crowd, the jeers of the soldiers, the prodding of the soldiers as they want Jesus to move forward, to continue to carry his cross. Oh, Lord Jesus, how often in my life's journey, how often in my life of faith that I have stumbled, when I grow weary, Lord, give me grace to always to seek to follow you, that to know that in my weakness I discover new your strength. When I am tempted to despair, I may discover your hope. When I am tempted to be afraid, to always find your presence with me. Lord Jesus, Failure and disappointment sometimes lead me to despair. I hide behind my pride and self-pity, withdrawing from you and others. Give me the hope I need and help me never to be afraid to begin again. O God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee. And I grieve that I have so oft offended thee by my sins and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed be the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. For his people sins chastised that she beheld her son despised, scourged and crowned with thorns entwined. Jesus speaks to the holy women. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. I was wondered about who these women were. Were they part of the crowd that had followed Jesus as he healed the sick? Were they part of the crowd when he called Lazarus from the tomb? Now they see the one they place such hope in being dragged away before them, carrying his cross. Lord Jesus, your great compassion for others overwhelms me. I feel pity and selfish when I think of you in the way you love. Help me to pour out my love that you might fill me with your love. Help me to seek out those who are afraid. Lord, help me to seek out those who long for a deeper faith in you. Lord, let me not just stand around weeping at my brokenness, but rather turn to you to find wholeness. 
O God, I believe in Thee, I hope in Thee, and I love Thee, and I agree that I have so often offended Thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by Thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus falls for the third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. One cannot imagine the depth of the pain that Jesus is suffering. Wearied now by the loss of blood, by the weight of the cross, he hears only in his ears the jeers of the crowd, the weeping of the women, the jeers of the soldiers. Lord Jesus, your failing strength makes me see how helpless I am without you. I can do nothing. Help me to rely on your strength to see how much I need you. Lord, by your grace, help us daily to grow in you. Help us daily to trust in you. Help us daily to let your love shape and guide me. O God, I believe in Thee, I hope in Thee, and I love Thee, and I grieve that I have so often offended Thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by Thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, save, save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the passion of my Maker, be my sinful soul partaker. May I bear with her my part. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. The crowd has arrived at Calvary. They take what meager clothing Jesus has, he's stripped naked before the world. The wounds of his back visible to all. Lord Jesus, seeing you so cruelly humiliated, makes me realize how I cling to my accomplishments, my possessions, my own way. Help me let go of those things in my life that prevent me from growing closer to you and to others. Lord, let me not trust in my way, but only trust in following after you. Let me be deeply aware that all the things we think are important in this life that the world tells us is important compares nothing to the way of love, the way of your commandments. 
O God, I believe in thee, I love thee, and hope in thee, and I love thee, and I agree that I have so often offended thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Of his passion bear the token in a spirit bowed and broken. Bear his death within my heart. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. The rough cross is laid upon the ground, and the body of Jesus is laid upon it. We hear the ring of the nails as they hit by the hammers, as they tear through flesh and bone and wood, as he who lived the life of love and healing is now tortured upon the cross. Lord, how frail my faith seems, how insufficient my love seems, in light of your great love for us. You suffered all that we might be born again, we might be restored to fellowship with the living God. Lord Jesus, can I ever doubt your great love for me when I see you crucified? Help me to see your cross as the great sign of your love for me and for all of your creation. O oh God, I hope in thee, and I, excuse me, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee, and I agree that I have so oft offended thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. And may his wounds both wound and heal me, and his saving death befriend me. Be his cross my hope and strength. Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Lord Jesus, your broken and lifeless body calls me to a deeper faith. You chose death, even death on the cross. Help me to see my crosses as ways of loving you. Lord, help us to embrace the difficulties in our life, that they may become opportunities to find your strength. Lord, give me the wisdom to reach out to you in the midst of my daily living, that he who died for us might live within us and through us bring new life to the world. O oh God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee, and I grieve that I have so often offended thee by my sins and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Amen. When to dust my dust returneth, grant us soul that to the earneth in thy paradise a place. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. For me, this is one of the most poignant images of the way of the cross. When we see our blessed Lord dead upon the cross, being let down by the soldiers into the arms of his mother, she who cradled him at his birth, who watched over him as he grew in wisdom and strength, she who watched him leave the, comf the comfort and security of his home in Nazareth to begin his public ministry, who watched him as he healed the sick as he fed the 5,000, as he spoke words of hope and promise of the coming of the kingdom of God, that now she receives his lifeless body in her arms, a sword once again piercing her heart, once again her anguish being beyond comprehension. Only someone who has lost a child could possibly understand even something of her sorrow. Lord Jesus, Seeing your body taken from the cross reminds me how fearful I am letting go of my own life. I'm frightened when I think of being unimportant, useless, helpless. Help me to place my life in your hands that I might find new strength, new hope, new courage. O oh God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee. And I agree that I have so often offended thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed be the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, and is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus, may her deep devotion stir in me the same emotion, fond of love, freedom. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. The crowds have dissipated. Only Mary stands there with John, the beloved disciple. And then the strangers come to take her down the body of Jesus and place him in the tomb. A stranger's tomb who belonged to Joseph Arimathea, not even his own tomb. And he's taken away and laid in the tomb. Weeping surrounds him. The sense of loss and desolation. It seemingly that hope is lost. That he who brought such courage and strength to all who heard him, who brought healing to those who are broken in spirit and body and in mind, now lies dead in a cold tomb. Lord, sometimes in my life's journey, I can feel hopeless. Sometimes, Lord, you can feel so away apart from me. I am afraid. But Lord, you embraced even the darkness of death, the coldness of the tomb, that you might show your love for me, that despite what the world tells me, I am precious beyond measure. 
to be laid in that stone-cold tomb for me in order that I might find new life through your resurrection. Lord Jesus, when I see the great stone sealing your tomb, I feel alone and abandoned. Even though you sometimes seem distant or absent in my life, help me always to believe in your closeness and your loving presence. O God, I believe in thee, I hope in thee, and I love thee, and I agree that I have so often offended thee by my sins, and I resolve henceforth by thy grace and mercy to lead a better life. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the... Amen. Excuse me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed be the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Amen. At my heart Lord Jesus, help me to walk with you each day of my life, even to Calvary. The sorrow and joy, the pain and the healings, the failures and triumphs of my life are truly small deaths and resurrections that lead me to closeness with you. Give me the faith and trust I need to walk with you always. Amen. May the holy angels of God watch over and protect you, and may the prayers of Blessed Mary and all the saints assist you, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon each and every one of you, upon all you will close in your hearts and in, this, in your mind, this night and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>